Assalamu alaikum, dear students of class 2, how are you? Hope all of you are fine. Today I'm going to discuss with you about English past paper marks distribution. Already we have finished our syllabus and you see the syllabus is also uploaded on Facebook page. There everything is given but for making it clear in front of you today I'll discuss about this so that it becomes very easy to understand so dear students in last classes we have discussed, discussed about word meanings making sentences rhymes gap filling that is filling the blanks and also making sentences from jungle words now dear students listen carefully from English first paper, you know that in class 2 there are two papers, English first and English second and we are dealing with English first paper and other teachers, they are dealing with English second papers. Now, we discuss about English first paper marks distribution. So, in exam, there are 50 marks total, in total you see 50 marks, 10, 10, 10, 10 and 10. That is in total 50 marks from English first paper. And the first one is word meaning. So here, when you write the meanings of the given words in the question paper, you must write the meaning in English. That is English to English. You have to write the meaning of the given word in the question paper in English. So try to understand this very clearly. In previous years, we have seen that some students, when they write this meaning of the word, sometimes by mistakenly, they write the meaning in Bangla, that is Bangla meaning. They wrote in the exam. So their marks is deducted. So this is word meaning, and this word meanings, you have to write the meaning of the word in English. And the words already given and discussed in previous classes. These are the words you revise again and again. So now you see the making sentence. Here you have to make sentence by the given word. Say for example, a word is given. For example, a word is given like you know dog. So you have to make a sentence. So here the students guardians have some confusion about these two things like the word meanings and making sentence if any students write any different word meaning is it right so here I make it clear in front of you dear students if you write the meaning of the word which we don't teach you that is you write different meaning but the meaning is correct if the meaning is correct then you must get full marks. Also, same thing happens in next sentence. If any students write any sentence which is grammatically correct, you will get full marks. Though the sentence we write is not matched, you write different, the word is okay, and you have written different sentence. The sentence is grammatically correct, you will get full marks and each sentence for five make sentence each sentence can contains two marks so in total there is ten marks for five sentences no rights you are given rights in the syllabus so take preparation for those rights clearly and write these rights in the exam so when you write the right in the exam before starting the rhyme, say for example, a black cat. This is the title of the rhyme. So when you start writing the rhyme, you first write the title of the rhyme. First write the title of the rhyme, which are given on the question, then write the full one. So it contains 10 marks. In the time of writing the rhyme, you, you have to be clear or Make clear 
that is when you write the answers in the answer there is like comma like full stop like you know surprise inside like you know the punctuation marks be careful and write it correctly so that you will achieve full marks and definitely in all cases be careful about spelling mistakes because for spelling mistakes your numbers will be detected now get the this without clues so in filling the gaps when you write this answer no extra clue will be given no i repeat no clues will be given you have to write the you have to fill the blank and write the answer and you will not get any clue in the question paper so you have to fill up the sentence or you have to write the sentence by filling the gap and here same thing happen if in the blank the answer the word you give the word is correct you will get full marks each blank contains one marks in total for 10 fill in the blanks you will get 10 marks I repeat, no clue, no clue in the beginning. Now, question number five is making sentences from jumbled words. Here, one sentence, and there you have to write the sentence, and the words are not properly one after one with sequence arranged. So, you have to arrange this. You have to write and put the words according to the sequence like you know here the words are differently arranged so you have to write the full sentence with grammatically you know the sentence correct that is with full stop with question marks that is you make a sentence from the jumbled words properly and each sentence contains two marks that is a total for five sentences you will get 10 marks. So these are all about English first paper marks distribution that five items from these five items you can easily get 10 or uh, 50 marks and these 50 marks becomes very easy if you follow the previous steps that is word meanings, making sentence, words, gap fillings and making sentence from jumbled words so it is very clear and it will be very easy to achieve 50 marks so dear students you practice see the class again and again write it again and again and practice your handwriting and be careful about the spelling mistakes because for spelling mistakes your marks will be deducted after that if you have any question about any items, you have our numbers, contact numbers, you can directly contact with us. So, if you have any queries, if any problem about this, that these items are this word meaning, this next sentence, these rhymes, I don't understand. So, I write it this way, is it correct or is it incorrect? If you have any type of confusion, Feel free to ask, feel free to message, feel free to contact with us by phone so that we can make it clear and dear students hope for the best and prepare, take good preparation for your upcoming exam. Thank you. Take care.